Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And try to make it comfortable. We're looking for a sense of well-being inside. So we don't have to place so much emphasis on trying to find things outside that we want. Because the, the happiness we look for outside is bound to be bound up with competition. But there's nobody competing with you to look at your breath. Nobody competing with you to get the sense of pleasure that you've got inside. This is totally your territory. So make the most of it. In the John Lee's image, we're like people who have a piece of land already, but we don't develop it and we go moving into other people's land. The right way is to go back and develop our own land. Weed it, plow it, plant it, get some use out of it. Because after all, if our happiness depends on someone else losing something or being harmed, they're not going to stand for it. This is why there's so much fighting back and forth in the world. But if your happiness depends on something inside, then you can live in the world and not be constantly in conflict with other people. And that's a good thing. As the Buddha once said, you could search the world over and not find anybody that you love more than yourself. But at the same time, other people are fiercely in love with themselves, which means that people aren't just going to make way for you as you look for your happiness. So to avoid a lot of the unnecessary conflict outside, make the most of what you've got inside. You've got the opportunity to develop generosity, the opportunity to develop virtue, and to develop a sense of well-being through the meditation. All of this is happiness that comes from within. So develop your inner resources. Feed yourself off of what you can grow on your own pl plot of land. And you find that you can live in this world with a greater sense of peace and well-being.